Hello humans, I'm Yo Schiller, and welcome back to some more Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS. And in this part, I should be clearing through classic mode using Ness from the Mother franchise, or as it's known in America, the Earthbound franchise. Yes, the name of the character is the same, it's just the name of the franchise that's different. Anyway, Ness has a multitude of different costumes. I don't actually think they're based on anything, but they do give him different hats and shirts and whatever. Yeah, each shirt is kind of based on stuff, like that one's based off of a menu background, but... The costume that I shall be using is this one. This shirt has a Mr. Saturn on it. A Mr. Saturn is just like this little alien thing with a big old nose. As for the intensity, let's go ahead and do this on 9.0. So yeah, Ness is from a game called Earthbound. Or at least it's called Earthbound in America. In Japan, it's called Mother 2. And of course, this is kind of like an old story, but like... I'll tell it anyway. Earthbound was a very, very, very well-received game. However, it sold very, very poorly in America. And the reason for this was because the advertising was pretty darn bad. Like, if you ever see the TV commercials for Earthbound, it horribly demonstrates the gameplay. And they used the slogan, this game stinks, in hopes of trying to sell the game. Because they had scratchable stickers that would smell really bad. But people thought, oh, this game stinks, it must suck. Because people didn't understand the... Humor that was Earthbound. And then they also sold the game for $70 because they figured, well, if you're gonna play a game as big as Earthbound, you're gonna want an ex you're gonna want a strategy guide, right? You're gonna expect to need help, and so you're gonna want a strategy guide. So it was just a multitude of different things that made Earthbound sell really, really horribly. But for those that actually did pay $70 for a game that they knew nothing about, it was actually a really good game. I didn't actually even play Earthbound until it came out onto the Wii U's Virtual Console. Which, by the way, you can get it on the Wii U's Virtual Console for like 10 bucks if you don't want to spend, what is it, $200 now for the game? Fun stuff. So, Earthbound is an RPG. It is a game where you play as a schoolboy as you travel across the planet in hopes of fighting off against various aliens and creatures and whatnot as you try to save the world from an evil being called Gygus. It is a very weird game, but it is also a very dark game, a very deep game, and a very interesting game. There we go, I won the fight. Sweet. And of course, the main character here is named Ness. His attacks involve a variety of different odd attacks. His A- well, I'll explain when I go into the next fight so I can actually demonstrate what it is that Ness does. Let's see, who is my next opponent? Let's go up against you, Pac-Man and Olimar. Oh, I'm sorry, Pac-Man and Olimar and Pikmin. Okay, and Shulk is on my team, cool. Alright, so Ness's A attacks. When Ness just strikes normally, he'll do punches, he might swing with a baseball bat, and he might use a yo-yo. His B attacks, like that little spark I just shot there, those are his PK attacks. His psychokinesis attacks. They are special psychic power attacks. See? You can use a combination of different attacks to try and take down your opponents. His A attacks are in reference to items that you can equip in Earthbound. In Earthbound, you don't get swords, you get baseball bats and yo-yos. And then your special moves, your special powers, I guess, because RPGs usually have special moves, are your psychic powers. Though the attacks that Ness uses in this game are attacks that he can't learn in Earthbound, but eh, they're still attacks that exist in Earthbound. So his attacks, he'll shout them out. It'll be like, PK Flash! PK Fire! PK Thunder! Those are all attacks that exist in Earthbound. There you go, PK Fire, so on and so forth. And then his A moves, like I said, are yo-yos and baseball bats, all sorts of cool stuff. Ness's down B is actually called the PSI Magnet. In America, in Earthbound, they're called... Ness's special moves in Earthbound, in America, are called PSI attacks. They're not called PK attacks. So, for whatever reason, they call Ness's down B his PSI Magnet, rather than PK Magnet. Ooh, a Smash Ball. I can show off Ness's final Smash. Here you go. Come on. Alright. This is Ness's final smash, which is called PK Star Storm! Oh, I forgot that they changed it! Shoot. Alright, come on. Die, 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 die. Alright, well, cool. I forgot that they changed it, but I thankfully still won the battle. Yeah, that's PK Star Storm. And Earthbound, PK Star Storm is actually one of the best attacks in the game. It strikes everybody on the field, it does a ton of damage. In Super Smash Bros. Brawl, it would do a similar thing. It would make a bunch of little comets shoot down from the sky, and it would just attack everybody. In this game, it doesn't go across the entire stage like it does in Super Smash Bros. Brawl, however, you can direct it now. You can change the direction of where it goes. You can focus on individual opponents if you would like to. It gives you more control, which I think makes it a better attack. Okay. So, in terms of Ness's playstyle, he's a bit awkward. He's a bit floaty. 
I don't mean that in a bad way. He's just a bit floaty. You notice when he jumps, he kind of curves around a little circle. His recovery has always been a bit awkward. What you can do, Ness's recovery attack is PK Thunder. He shoots a little electric ball up into the air, and you can hit opponents with it. And if it hits you, you will get sent flying. It doesn't hurt you, it just sends you flying. And so you're supposed to use that attack to recover. That if you if you hit yourself with PK Thunder and then you hit somebody else, when you've get when you've gotten hit by it, you'll deal a ton of damage to that opponent. So Ness is a very weird character. I don't remember if he's like considered to be good. I think he's average. I think he's like if, I think when people rank characters, and I know some people don't believe in like tier lists and whatever, and that's fine. I just think that when it's a when you look at a tier list, I think Ness is somewhere in the middle. I don't think he's very high up. Maybe he is. I don't think he is, though. But he is a fun character, and I'm glad that he's back. A lot of people actually thought that he was going to get removed. And I was like, well, I don't know. Because before Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS began development, there was a famous whiteboard drawing that one of the employees drew that just showed a bunch of characters from Super Smash Bros. And on it, there was a Mr. Saturn, which is the same little character that's on Ness's shirt that you can see on the bottom screen. That little Mr. Saturn thing. That was in the whiteboard drawing, and the whiteboard drawing also featured like Mario, Wario, Zero Suit Samus, Link, or did it feature Link? Yeah, I think it featured Link. Regardless, a Mr. Saturn was there, so we knew that there was going to be a character from Earthbound. It didn't show Ness, and, you know, whatever, they didn't show Ness, but we knew that there was going to be an Earthbound character. And Ness has been around since the beginning, so it made sense that it would be Ness. It's just that in Super Smash Bros. Brawl, there was another character named Lucas, and Lucas was originally supposed to replace Ness in Super Smash Bros. Melee. He didn't because the game that featured Lucas didn't come out until like five years later. That game would be called Mother 3 in Japan, and that game was never released to America. But it was also a very well-received game. So in Super Smash Bros. Brawl, there were Ness and Lucas, and then people thought, well, with the next game, maybe Lucas will just completely remove Ness. No, Ness is the one that's going to stay because people in America will actually recognize Ness and he's been around since the beginning. So at this point, it's kind of awkward to just remove him, even though they considered removing him before. All right, I'm going up against the Wii Fit Trainer and I'm going on to the Nintendo. I'm going on to the Nintendo stage again. Hmm. I fought the Duck Hunt duo there earlier and now I have to fight the Wii Fit Trainer. Whatever. Okay. This PK Flash attack I keep using, it's hard to land, but if you land it, it'll deal a ton of damage. Ness has a variety of different attacks that can deal all sorts of damage, but they're all kind of hard to use. An old, old combo that you can do, and it still works in this game, is to actually hit somebody with PK... F oh, come on! Oh, I got it, I got it. Okay, for a second there, I thought the Wii Fit Trainer got it. Alright, let me hit you with PK Flash. All I have is invincibility. No, 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 don't get that bullet, don't friggin' get away from me. Ooh, Fire Swords! Or fire sticks, whatever. But an old combination to use with Ness was actually to use PK fire on your opponent, which causes your opponent to be stuck in place for a couple seconds, and then you hit him with a baseball bat. So that's an old combo. It's PK fire and then baseball bat. Okay. Of course, if you want to chat, if you want to attack from a far away range, you've got PK thunder and PK fire to do the trick. Come on, come on, come on. Arrgh! Friggin' we fit trainer, come on. Let's see. I'm just trying to think. Oh, cool, an Eevee! Oh, it's adorable! I love Eevee. Oh, come on, friggin' Wii Fit Trainer is giving me a hard time. I mean, I know you're made of metal. You've got bones of steel! <laughs> but, you're, you're proven to be quite difficult. Hmm, or you're proven to be quite a difficult opponent, I should say. If I could hit you with, like, PK Flash and kill you with PK Flash, that'd be awesome. And funny enough, in Earthbound, PK Flash doesn't actually deal damage. It just blinds your opponent, so it makes it harder for your opponents to hit you. But in this game, they gave Ness PK Flash, and it's like one of his most powerful attacks. I don't know if that's supposed to be some sort of joke, but whatever. And I know a lot of people haven't played Earthbound, and that's fine. I didn't play Earthbound until it came out on Wii U Virtual Console. I said that earlier in this part. But if you like RPGs, you'll probably like Earthbound, because I typically don't like RPGs unless it's Pokemon or a Mario RPG. Okay, like, I'm not a big RPG fan, and I loved Earthbound. And the thing that kept me attached to it wasn't really the gameplay. The gameplay is simple enough, which I guess on one hand makes it so that it's not overly complicated and making it so that you're not frustrated with the game. No, it's a, it's a simple game. The thing that kept me attracted to Earthbound was actually the humor. It's a very modern game with very modern dialogue. Wow, I didn't actually expect to kill Wii Fit Trainer like that there. That works. But Earthbound takes place in a modern day society. That's why you're using stuff like yo-yos and home run bats uh, and uh, baseball bats to beat up opponents. 
But the humor is just so funny. There's so many fourth wall breaking jokes and the characters are so self-aware and they make fun of all sorts of pop culture stuff, mo most commonly the Beatles, because the Beatles were a big thing at the time. And it takes place in America, so you'd think that like Americans would just be like all over the game because it's just making fun of American society. It's a, it's a very funny game and I strongly advise that RPG fans go check it out. Anywho, I'm gonna go ahead and beat up these Mii's here using my psychic powers. I'm gonna demonstrate why Ness, a small schoolboy with a hat, can take on people in Super Smash Brothers. Bring it on, Mii's! Roar! Die, everybody die. Nope, okay. Huh? These Mii's ha need guns to fight, whereas Ness is just naturally born with psychic powers. Roar! Okay, come on, slowly but surely. If I can just like... You know, kill you guys, that would be great. Okay, well that's taken down opponents, so my yo-yo won't take down opponents, but if I just run forward and stick my hands out, that'll kill them. Okay, that works. Okay, well there's a bomb chew going around the stage, hopefully that'll kill somebody. Come on, bomb chew. Come on, bomb chew. No, no, that bomb chew keeps missing people, but the warp star did it, so that works. Alright, sweet. Oh, they're cheering for me, cool. There's a Hawka tape bomb, and... Okay, I don't know where my PK Thunder went, but whatever. Alright, come on. Mmm... Ah, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Mm, if I could just kill, oh, you know what? I'll just kill you with this. Yeah, I'm gonna taunt. You're gonna die, and I'm gonna win. Huzzah! Sweet, 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 sweet. Yeah, actually, if not for Super Smash Brothers, I would not have known who Ness was. I would not have known what Earthbound was. Ness was in the original Super Smash Brothers, and I didn't know who he was. I just thought, okay, cool, another character. And in Super Smash Bros. Melee, they actually gave him two Earthbound stages, and then I became actually curious to know what Earthbound was. So I remember actually going to, like, I don't know, Toys R Us, I'm in elementary school or something, or maybe I'm in middle school. Super Smash Bros. Melee was out. No, 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 I was in, I was in elementary school. Uh, and I went to Toys R Us, and I remember asking, do you guys have Earthbound? And the lady looked at me like I was crazy, because I didn't know that that was a rare game for the friggin' Super Nintendo. I thought that... Oh, well, if Ness is in Super Smash Brothers, then there's got to be some sort of modern game with him, right? I mean, like, Mario has a more recent game, Zelda has a more recent game, Kirby has a more recent game. So there's got to be a recent Earthbound game, right? And so I remember going to Toys R Us and figuring out, no, nobody's, like, even heard of Earthbound. So that's when I started doing my research, and I was like, oh, this is a rare game. Hmm, guess I'll never play it. And then years would go by, and I, I, I played it. And so, yeah, it's thanks to Super Smash Brothers that I know who Ness is. And I think a lot of people only know who Ness is, is because of Super Smash Brothers. Now, there are people that have played Earthbound before Super Smash Brothers came out, okay? There are plenty of people who know Ness from Earthbound and not Super Smash Brothers. But a majority of people, myself included, only know Ness because of Super Smash Brothers. So I have Super Smash Brothers to thank for that. Because Earthbound is a really fun game. All right, I'm going to take this thing down using a yo-yo. Let me go ahead and do that. Let me go ahead and dodge this actually. Ah! I'm okay. I'm okay. I have survived. I am okay. Ah! Ah! No! <laughs> Jesus! Come on. Okay. Dodge it. Cool. At least I can still dodge that attack. Alright. This phase of the fight is over. Now I have to go on to the alligator, scorpion, shadow, swarm thing, whatever. Okay. You know what? You know what? You are getting on my nerves! Okay, that's fine. No, I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. So I can come back, I can use my thunder attack, and I can come back and strike you down. Yeah, how do you like that? How do you like that? Mm oh, wait, what? No, I missed! Yeah, see, that's the thing with Ness's up B. It's very easy to miss, and you can, it could always hit something else, and as a result, it's not going to be able to hit you. But man, if you can hit yourself with that attack, and then you can hit somebody else with it, it's going to deal a ton of damage. Mm -hmm. I'm okay. I'm hit you with PK Flash. Darn it! I was like a centimeter away. Uh, hang in there, Ness. Hang in there, Ness. You've taken on plenty of tougher challenges before. Hmm. All right, come on, come on, come on. You've taken on freaking Gigas. You had to become a robot at one part in Earthbound. Spoiler alert, by the way. <laughs> I don't think it's too much of a spoiler to say that he becomes a robot at one point. That's just something that happens. You had to become a robot. You had to travel through the sewers. You had to travel in time. Ah! <laughs> Hang in there, Ness! Uh, uh, it hurts! It hurts so much! Uh, Ness, you've traveled through the desert, you fought a giant monster in the ocean. You can take on a freaking shadowy sword, can't you? Okay, come on. You got this, Ness. You got this. Dodge it! You dodged it? Good. 
Good, good, Ness. Good, good. Show them what you're made of. No, gosh, darn it! I was getting all motivational and everything, and uh, and I died. You know what? It's fine. Ness never gives up. He's been through all this. He can try again. So let's try again, humans. Let's try again. All right, Ness, back on your feet. Let's do this. Okay, here we go. Back to the shadowy sword segment. <sighs> Yep, this segment usually gives me trouble, but I have two lives this time. I think that I'll be just fine. Just fine. Huh. Here we go. Harp. harp. Harp, harp, harp. Come on. Slowly but surely. How many hits does this thing need? Ah, it's hurting me a lot, but thankfully I can withstand a couple hits. Alright, here's this attack. This one's usually hard to dodge, but if I can dodge it, I usually get a free hit. Ah, nope, I didn't dodge it. It killed me. Yep, that's the attack that usually does it. Oh, cool! This phase of the fight is over. I didn't expect it to end so quickly. Okay, here we go. Shadowy Ness! Oh, I missed the PK Flash! Darn it! That would've been cool if I hit with it. Alright, come on, you. Ah, die, don't come back. Now he's gonna come back, because it's a smart AI. Actually, I'm curious. How do they make the AI for Ness? Because Ness's attacks are so awkward. Or oh, I already won. And I won using that PK Fire Bat combo that I talked about earlier in this part. Sweet. But, like, how do you tell Ness to control that PK Thunder attack? I'm just curious. Anyway, there's Ness's neutral B, here's his side B, here's his up B, and of course, I could hurt myself with it, but I'm not gonna have the time to try it. Whatever. Alright, cool. And here's his down B, his down B doesn't actually deal damage. Oh, I haven't even talked about what his down B does. His down B is called PSI Magnet, and if you get hit with a projectile, you'll actually absorb it and heal yourself. With most projectiles, like if somebody throws a bomb at you, you're not going to absorb it. But if like somebody shoots fire at you, you'll absorb it. Simple as that. Simple as that. Okay. Here we go, guys. That's classic mode with good old Ness from Earthbound. <sighs> and now, because I've cleared classic mode with Ness, I get this nice pretty Ness trophy to add to my trophy collection. Let's see, this is... 38 trophies now? Yeah! Yeah! Almost all of them. I've got like 10 more or so? I think so. Or 11 more, I think there's 49 characters if you count the Miis. Sweet! And I've already played as the Miis, so cool. Alright, let me go ahead and do this credits picture! Awesome stuff! Awesome stuff! Alright, well that's classic mode with Nest Humans. And just to describe like how he plays, he's not really my character, but I know that a lot of people love Ness. He's a very weird character to use, in my opinion, but if you if you liked him in previous games, you'll probably like him here. I don't think he's too different. In fact, I think they actually made him a bit better. I think they made his PK Thunder easier to control or something, and his down B. His down B PSI magnet is certainly a lot bigger than it was in previous games. In previous games, it would, like, barely cover him. In this game, no, he's, he's got plenty of space. Oh, this picture, that's so cool. All right, here's the thing with this picture, okay? I can already tell you what this is. So as you can kind of see there, there's Ness in the middle. Off to the left, there's an Earthbound enemy called a Starman, which appears in Smash Run. It's just a little enemy. In Earthbound, it's a famous enemy because if you defeated a Starman, you had a slight chance of obtaining the best item in the game, but it was really hard to get. But you can only get it from defeating a Starman. So the, and the Starman's on the box art of Earthbound, so it's a somewhat iconic enemy of Earthbound. And then off to the right, there's a Mr. Saturn. A, a, a friend, a friendly character of Ness. It's a species. And the background looks like they're trying to reference a very serious and intense moment in Earthbound, like the last part of the game. I don't know if I want to talk too much about it, because that is going into spoiler territory, though I'm pretty sure people are already familiar with it. But it's, it's, that's actually a really cool picture. It's Ness, a Mr. Saturn, and again, Mr. Saturn is a species that is friendly to Ness, and then there's a Starman, a the, probably the most famous enemy from Earthbound. So that's super cool. All right, what am I missing in this background picture? Uh, oh, I'm missing this bottom right part. <laughs> I knew that. Come on. Come on. Come on, please. Please. I'm only missing a tiny chunk, please. I'm at 99%. No. 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 <laughs> I didn't clear the picture, humans. Wow, that's like the first time in a long while where I was actually unable to clear the picture. Uh, but oh well, that actually is a really cool picture, though. I'm out of here. That wraps up this part of Super Smash Brothers for Nintendo 3DS, and I'd like to thank you all for watching. See you all next time in the next part when I clear classic mode with yet another character. Bye bye humans.